figure review, something we haven't done in a while. And this is going to be a good one. Bandai Godzilla 2000, a.k.a. Millennium Godzilla. Also, don't worry, I saved the tag. First, let's start with this thing's paint. Starting with the dorsal plates, oh my god, Bandai cooked. It looks like they spray-painted it on there in a good way. Next up from the front, I like that they painted a little bit of green in this area right here. And the, f and the painting and sculpting on the face is really good, honestly. And the teeth are sculpted really well. And from a Samsung camera, it looks like they were sculpted individually. Paint with the claws is also really good, but there's one issue. Um, from this side, they didn't really paint it. But it's not that noticeable, so it doesn't really bother me. The painting on the toenails is really good, S standard. This is what Bandai does every time. They leave like a little dust effect on it. As you can see, um, this figure is painted in nice charcoal black. And I honestly think it's really cool. I mean, the color Millennium Godzilla is usually described as is like dark green or black. Next up, we got the sculpting. The sculpting for the claws is awesome. Same thing for the dorsal plates and face. Next up is something extremely important when it comes to a Godzilla figure is the articulation itself. First up we got the arm right here. It moves pretty well just like the Bandai Godzilla Final Wars. I made a review on that not too long ago. Okay, I'm just kidding. Not very long ago, but go check it out if you can. The legs move like standard Bandai. The head doesn't move, but that's okay. Although I am wondering how come they... How come they made the head move for the Bandai Kiri Goji, but not for the Bandai Millennium Godzilla? Even though this thing doesn't have much points of articulation, it's still really good and good enough for stop motion. What I've been noticing with something I've been noticing with Bandai vinyls is the lack of paint on the tail. So you, as you can see, this happened multiple times. Dorsal plates are perfectly painted till you reach the tail, and it's, and they're just not painted. Just like the Bandai Godzilla Final Wars' tail, and same thing with the Bandai Gigan Final Wars. Now here we have the tag for the figure, and if you're wondering when it was made, it says it, dang it, it says it right here, 2016, Millennium Godzilla. Okay, I should never do that again. It was, we got a really nice picture of Millennium Godzilla himself, in that nice charcoal black color. Now it's time for the size comparison. Bandai Kiri, which I slightly customized and is somehow taller. Bandai Godzilla Final Wars. Sage Monster Arteisei Godzilla. Maya Toys Godzilla 2021. And Bandai Gigan. Now I'm just going to show you all some cool po- Sorry, now I'm going to show you all some cool poses that you can do with this figure. Anyways, that's pretty much going to be it for this short little review I made. Anyways, that's all for this tiny little review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.